What's up everyone? In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to sharpen your images in Photoshop using frequency separation. And I'm also going to be giving you guys a, freq a frequency separation action for free so that you can download and learn how to sharpen your images in Photoshop quickly. And unlike so many videos uh, on YouTube, so many videos show you a longer process. And I'm going to show you guys how you can just play this frequency separation action and apply sharpening to your portraits in Photoshop. And before I can go ahead, this image was taken by Wale Visuals, as you can see, and I already did the retouching. And if I told you would like to learn how I retouch my images to look like this, I'm going to put the link right above here so that you can learn and follow along how I do retouch. And this tutorial is not about retouching. So this image was by Wale Visuals. I'm going to put his link in the description so that you guys can check him out. He is an amazing photographer, so we are going to be using this image, and as you can see, it is already retouched or edited, so uh, when you're going to sharpen your images, make sure you start by duplicating a background layer by clicking Ctrl J on the keyboard, yeah, Ctrl J, or you can just drag and drop right here to create a new layer, so we are going to delete that layer, so just create one layer on top right here, then uh, one thing I want to show you uh, is after downloading your freaking separation action Sorry about this after downloading it and you want to load it into your Photoshop Let me first show you guys this before I can show you the sharpening because this is also essential and Someone out there may not be knowing how to uh, import their actions into Photoshop. So just come right here to window then come to action so when you click actions you come to this panel right here if at all you don't have it so after doing this just click on this icon right here and you uh, you come and uh, click on load action so when you click on load actions it will take you right to the folder where your action is and click on it and yeah click load so since i already have my action I already have it right here. So after downloading this action, I'm going to be giving you guys the link is going to be in the description of this video. Just come right here, click actions and uh, select the action right here. And now click play. So your action is going to play. And now for the radius, just leave it in its default. Yeah, and click OK. So to continue running and playing so just click continue so you're going to close this right here and now this is our frequency separation group so uh, in frequency separation remember this uh, divides the image into the color and uh, the texture and now remember now we want to sharpen the image and sharpening your image will be dealing with the texture not the color of the image so that's why you, you see this high frequency layer is usually the texture layer. So when you look at this layer right here, it contains the texture of this image. So what you're going to be doing, that's uh, what you're going to be doing right now. You're going to uh, duplicate this uh, high frequency layer right here. So you can just click Command J or Control J to duplicate it. So as you can see, uh, this image looks sharp and detailed but uh the sharpening uh really looks odd it is really looking awkward and yeah it has distorted uh, the image you can see yeah it looks sharp so we are, we are going to look for a way of how to deal with this too much sharpening and you can see the sharpening has uh, been applied to the overall image you can see even uh, the hair details have been sharpened so only one two apply maybe a sharpening on specific areas for example as uh, the eyes and uh, the skin and maybe the lips of our model so what you're going to be doing you're going to uh, mask uh, this top layer so hold down the alternate button on the keyboard so when you hold it down just click on this camera like icon and as you can see so when you click it uh, it will, uh, the image will be set back to uh, the default you can see like there is no sharpening right now so the image is like how it was before you can see there is nothing at all if I turn this on and off so make sure this uh, black mask is selected so we are going to paint on the areas 
that we want to be sharpened using a brush so we're going to be painting using a white brush on this black mask so make sure white is on the foreground right here and if at all you don't have it just click here to toggle and get white on top or click right here to reset and get this black and white swatches so make sure white is on top so increase on your brush and make sure the opacity is at 100 and the flow is at 100 the reason for this is I will just want to sharpen and if at all the sharpening is too much we are going to be dealing with that too so just uh, increase remember we are painting using a white brush on a black mask so we are going to paint you can see uh, it is applying the sharpening uh, on the areas uh, we really want to and it is the same uh, method you can use to apply or in intensify the skin texture in your portrait so you can also use this method too as you're seeing i'm not i don't want to apply the effect on uh these uh parts of uh, the hair you can see on her top on the top of her head so i don't want to apply uh, the sharpening on those areas so i'm just applying the sharpening on the skin so after doing this you can see the sharpening is too much so we are going to be dealing uh, with uh, reducing on uh, the sharpening of these uh, areas so i'm sorry if i'm being too fast but i just want to show you guys how this works and yeah what this really does so you can see now the image really looks uh, crisp sharp so we can as well come to the eyes and uh, sharpen them too you can see it has applied the sharpening so uh, you can see now uh, the sharpening has been applied you can see before after before after uh, it is really looking sharp you can see the difference i hope you guys can see the difference right now so uh, if at all you feel uh, the effect of the sharpening is too much on this portrait just make sure you're still selected to this layer and come to as the opacity and you can turn down the opacity to that of your liking so you can see the before after let me zoom in so that you can see the effect so before after before after you can see the effect in the eyes before after before after uh, it has been sharpened so this is a quick way so how you can sharpen your images using frequency separation in Photoshop photoshop sorry and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have just landed on this video from this channel for the very first time i'm ronix from ronix photography see you in yet another retouching tutorial on this channel and stay blessed